may I please just 10 seconds ask the, uh, with respect, the AIMM spokesperson, the lady there, just a simple question. Madam, are Ahmadiyya's Muslims, yes or no? Ms. Falak, we can't hear you. Yes, go ahead. Mr. Rahul, yeah. why did you bring in AIMIM here? AIM is not a party who gives a ticket to a terror accused, MP ticket. And AIM is not a party who welcomes and garlands uh, uh, te terrorist and rapist. BJP Simple does that. You, AIM, AIM does are Ahmadiyya's Muslims? Are Ahmadiyya's wh Muslims, ma'am? Why, 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 why are we bringing Ahmadiyya's here? I don't understand. Why can't we? Why can't we? I love Ahmadiyya's. See, I BJP think they are Muslim. Has... Do you think they are Muslims? BJP has Will you answer that? Issue. That's why this is happening all over India. It might be difficult. Rahul, BJP it might be difficult. You see, people. viewers. BJP should be held <coughs> You see, viewers. You accuse the Hindus of bigotry hate and of sectarianism. Hate speeches are coming you are not from prepared leaders. to accept a fellow hate Muslim and Muslim. Speeches are coming from BJP. Okay. Hate speeches are coming Okay, let's, 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 let's. Dr. Anand Ranganathan, what do you make of this latest instance of bigotry, unrestrained, unequivocal bigotry? Yes, good evening, Rahul. It is indeed a terribly sad day. You know, Harsha is yet another Hindu name lost in the midst of victimhood and propaganda. But before Harsha, there was Kishan. Before Kishan, there was Kamlesh. And before Kamlesh, there were thousands whose names don't even register in our minds because they have been clouded with selectivity. And because they, all these people have worked for Hindu causes, they have systematically been dehumanized. So if they are RSS workers or VHP workers or Bajrang Dal workers, their lives don't count at all. Their deaths are explained away that this was a natural cause going to happen anyway. And so we maintain silence on more than 190 Muslim mob hate attacks on Hindus, Dalits and non-Dalits. Over the past two and a half years, Rahul, including Bharat Yadav, who was lynched after being called a kafir, including in Rachi, where a Muslim mob segregated bus passengers based on their religion before wanting to set it on fire, including Dalit Gangaram, who was lynched because he dared to file a police complaint when his daughter was abducted, including breaking a Ambedkar statue, thrashing Dalit families after they objected to a Dalit girl, Sarita, being assaulted by a Muslim including nearly lynching a Dalit Jayanti Bhatti for daring to wear a Pathan suit, including going on a murderous rampage in Bangalore over alleged blasphemy by a Dalit Nitin. That particular instance, you may recall, Rahul, took a backseat to the propaganda of Muslims joining hands and forming a ring around a Hindu temple to save it miraculously. None of these attacks elicit any outrage. I'll tell you something else that hasn't elicited any outrage. The statement recently by Karnataka Congress leader Mukarram Khan, who said, and I quote him, those who stop Muslim girls from wearing hijab will be chopped to pieces, unquote. And a few days later, Harsha is indeed chopped to pieces, and he did no such thing as stopping anyone from wearing a hijab. His crime was to ask for a uniform dress code. Rahul, you have to understand. Secularism cannot win over Sharia. It stands no chance. This is an argument any one of us cannot win because we are man, not God. And God or Allah has specifically prescribed a dress code 2431, 3359. God or Allah has specifically ordered that those who abuse Allah and His Messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter and prepared for them a humiliating punishment, 3357. And that the penalty for those who wage war against Allah is that they be killed or crucified, 533. We need to understand anyone who is perceived to have abused Allah or His Messenger or prevented His order from being followed will sooner or later meet the fate of Kamlesh Tiwari or Samuel Pati or Kishan or Harsha. It may take a week, a month, a year, a decade, but it will happen, Rahul. The second thing quickly we need to understand, just 20 seconds, is that it is the moderate Muslim who perennially plays the victim card and cushions the extremists. They snare the fundamentalists but spare the fundamentals. The irony is that they want non-believers against whom so much violence has been ordered to feel good about it and not be fearful. Isn't that nice? The holy book, Rahul, grabs the neck of the believer and of the non-believer, severs it. No, Rahul, I, I wanted to, uh, all of us, with due respect, to get back to the debate. Yeah. And I wanted to uh, take one highlight, one point that my good friend Sanjay Jha made, which is, uh, he asked a rhetorical question. Uh, who was Pehlu Khan? Who was Akhlaq? So please bear with me 
for two minutes, if you will. You know, the recent Delhi riots, 1,300 people were arrested. And they included roughly equal number of Hindus and Muslims. Both Hindus and Muslims took part. And both Hindus and Muslims lost their lives. And yet, you know it, Rahul, in the age of social media 24 by 7 videography, there were those who believed that Hindus weren't victim at all, that Ratan Lal wasn't stoned and shot, that Dilbar wasn't hacked and burnt alive, that Vinod wasn't lynched because his bike sported a Jashi Ram sticker, that temples weren't attacked and desecrated, that Arun Public School wasn't burned to the ground, that Rahul Thakur wasn't shot to death, that acid and stones and petrol bombs weren't thrown from Tahir Hussain's roof, that Santosh didn't allow her two grandchildren from the window of her house that was set on fire, that Hindu Dalits Deepak and Lala weren't dragged and beaten by a bloodthirsty mob, that Hindu Dalit Shoburam's furniture shop wasn't reduced to ashes, that Hindu Dalit Dinesh Khate wasn't cornered and lynched, that Vivek's skull wasn't drilled into by a Muslim mob, that Ankit wasn't stabbed 50 times after he was already dead. There has been a concerted attempt to turn that riot into a pogrom. Facts painted a different picture. This isn't some ancient Indian history that rent a penny leftist historians can airbrush. This happened right before our very eyes, Rahul. You'd have to gouge them out first if your wild propaganda is to succeed. And finally, 20 seconds. Sanjay, my good friend, you talked of Pehlu Khan and Akhlaq. Here's a question that I pose not only to you, but to every panelist, including the BJP spokesperson, who were Neelima, Jyoti, Prema, GV, Devkala, Zaver, Mittal, Neeta, Harshad, Pratashya, Niru, Chaya, Chirag, Sudha, Mala, Arvind, Umakan, Sadashiv, Mani, Jaisal, Mansuk, Rati, Jamna, Shanta, Indira, Rajesh, Shila, Manjula, Champa, Diwali, Lalita, Mangu, Pralad, Bhimji, Lakhu, Vithal, Salesh, Amrut, Narendra, Raman, who were they? Any panelist can answer. Who were these I'll names? You. Sanjay Chha. Answer. I'll answer you. Sanjay I'll answer you, Patan. I'll you say they were Indians. Names. You rattled off 50 names. My what? answer will come by. Uh, my answer comes with only one simple question. Do you know who said this? Ke gadaro ko goli maro Who said? This who said, is uh, this is exactly what I'm saying, viewers. Uh, this is exactly what I'm saying. There is an overinvestment. Seconds. Now one minute. Seconds. I need to tell every panelist who these names were. These were the 54 names no, who were burnt God. alive what? in Godra, in S6 coach. <laughs> Do we know even single name? BJP, right wing, left, non way No one knows their names. No one. तो दोस्तों अगर आपने वीडियो यहाँ तक देखी है तो वीडियो जरूर थोड़ी बहुत आपको अच्छी लगी होगी इसलिए वीडियो को लाइक कर दीजिए शेयर कर दीजिए और ऐसी ही वीडियो अगर आप और देखना चाहते हैं तो मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए धन्यवाद